You know how we rocking and rolling, man. Whole lot of can't stop, won't stop shit. This your boy Sways, man. Shout out to the DJ Hollywood. And hey, you already know, it's more than music. <laughs> What up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Hollywood, man, the independent artist enthusiast. Back with another dope interview, man. Today in the building, we got my guy, Swayze. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? building, my uh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while, man. It's been a long time. It's been a while. Been a so, while. um, how you, how you doing, bro? I'm great, man. I'm blessed, man. How are you? I can't complain, bro. Likewise, blessed, man. You know, yeah, li yeah. living a dream, as they say. Uh, yeah. yeah. Heavy on my can't stop, won't stop shit. Heard you, heard you, heard you. Yeah, facts. We gonna talk. We gonna talk about the can't stop, won't stop later, man. Let's first talk about the pink jacket. Man. Oh man, where do you get the drip from, Come man? Come on, man. Shout out to Fresh and Fly, man. My okay. big bro Just, man. He always makes sure I'm straight, man. No matter where I go, no matter where, no matter what I'm doing, you heard? Yeah, facts. We just, we just went to the corner store real quick. Homie was like, "Yo, yo, I like that jacket." Breaking necks <laughs> already. You feel me? <laughs> and it say Brooklyn on it. Feel me? So respectfully, you gotta respect yeah. it. Um, now tell the people, man. So who who is Swayze, man? Oh man, Sway is the youngest in charge. Now respectfully, man, um, Sway's man, I be, I be in and out doing a whole bunch of lot of everything, man. I do music, modeling, acting, you know. Um, I put on for the community. You right. know what I'm saying? On top of everything, you know what I'm saying? That's what really makes you a man for real. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. Um, you know, I'm just out here trying to put on for the town, bro. Heard you, heard you, heard you, man. So uh, you said music, so we're going to tap to that first, man, because one of the most iconic moments I remember from me between me and you is that Fusebox performance. And that was one for the books. The energy, man. You that already was, know. That was crazy. So um, I missed that. Yeah. So <laughs> even 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 going back to that show, man, like what, what was that? What was that Fusebox experience for you? Like, man? I ain't going to lie. That was like my first big performance in front of a actual big crowd so I know I had a job to do. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Facts. I know I had to put on, I know I had to make you proud, you know what I'm facts. saying? Just giving me the opportunity. Facts. And at the end of the day, bro, that's just my that's just my demeanor, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I went out there and I did me, you know what I'm saying? I was me. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? That shit that shit went up. I for, I forgot how we even you remember how we first met? Hell yeah. It was, was was it at the bar and you was like freestyling or something like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. <laughs> we was out and you know what I'm saying? We was out on the porch, you know what I'm saying? We was talking and shit and I think somebody put you on, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I forgot you, who it was too, but. Yeah, yeah, you know, you was you a DJ and shit. He was like, all right, nigga, let me hear something. Nah, I said, he, was like, he, was like, he was like, yo, he was like, yo, he was like, yo, come outside. I'm gonna switch your 16 right now. And you spent some yeah, he fire put me shit. Yeah, you spent some fire shit. You spent some fire shit. That's a fact, man. And then I remember you uh, you put in, uh, you doing like some, some like, like, like rude boy lyrics. I was like, oh, you Jamaican too? I was like, oh, oh that's no, fire. No, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> so, uh, you, you born in you born in Jamaica or you nah, born nah, in... I was born in Albany. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my grandfather was born in Jamaica. Yeah, but I'm from Albany. Uh, raised in Syracuse. Came back to Albany when I was 16. Um, you know, I just graduated from high school here. Been, been here ever since. Word. So, what made you uh, kind of get into that? Um, Cause there's a bunch of different options on what what you could do in life in general, but what got you into like, um, you know, just expressing yourself and the, the the music scene and you know, kind of evolving into the modeling, acting, and all that stuff. Where, where did that all stem from? Yo, for some reason, man, I feel like the way my life been set up, I always been like in the spotlight, hot seat. You know what I'm saying? Word. So I know just how to. You know what I'm saying? Make it do what it do, no matter what's going on. But um, since with the music and shit, since I was a young nigga, since we was in elementary school, grade school, we was in the lunch table, making the beats on the table and shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Everybody right. going around the table rapping and all that. Right. So that's that's how that developed. You know what I'm saying? Um, pictures and shit, the modeling and all that. You know what I'm saying? Been flying since picture day. <laughs> <laughs> since picture day. <laughs> you feel me? So you know what I mean? Nah, that's fire. The acting and all that. So um, yeah, speaking of acting too. So you were just the movie didn't the, the movie didn't come out yet, right? With, with, with Prince Frog, shout out to my guy Prince Frog, shout man. out, shout out, making a movie out of Schenectady. Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, talk, talk talk to the people about for me the movie and, and and your role in it and that experience. All right, so the movie is called The Last Shot. Um, it's the Eddie Stanley Jr. story. Um, based on a young guy, young kid, pretty much based out of Schenectady, New York. Mm -hmm. He was killed probably about 10 years ago over some car keys, you heard, in the house. Car party. keys? Yeah. That's actually. crazy. So, uh, you know, the town of Schenectady funded the whole movie. Like, when we was doing the scenes, you had um, Schenectady police, Schenectady, uh, the ambulance, you know what I'm saying? They're doing right. the scene to put him inside of the um, ambulance and shit like that. Yeah. We actually used the actual courtroom, you know what I'm saying? You got 
So the town is connected to be fun in the movie. So um, I got pretty much put onto it by recommendation. Mm -hmm. I was pretty pretty much like a in the background type shit at first. Yeah. And what happened was we were supposed to do a party scene, bro. And mm -hmm. um, they put the music on or whatever. You know, you got fifty percent of the people. That was a little bit shy or whatever, didn't want to be in front of the camera type shit. <laughs> so he's like, nah. <laughs> yeah, you got 50% of the people that's with it, you know what I'm saying? Dancing, doing what they're supposed to do. So, you know, Shorty started twerking. <laughs> that ass? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just completely lost, forgot the fact that I'm on camera and shit like that. I grabbed it, you heard? Yeah. He's like, cut! Wait, you! <laughs> you! <laughs> I'm thinking I'm in trouble, you heard? <laughs> he's like, do that again! <laughs> or too, so. That's where I got started getting my parts to the movie from, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up starting to get more parts, more parts, more parts. Ah, okay. Like that, you know what I'm saying? So I started all this background. Yeah. yeah. No, that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> so uh, when, when's the movie, like, projected to, like, um, release? Is that is that known or? I'm not 100% sure on the date, so I ain't going to speak on that. But, you know, absolutely. Prince Brown going to keep you updated on that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely stay in tune with him. Right. Um, definitely sometime this summer, though. Word. So, so how was that even just, because that was your first time being on set? Yes. So, yes. so how was that, um, even though you said, you know, you, you used to the, the limelight and all that, but once that, you know, once you press record, it's a whole different scenario for me. It's a whole different type of pressure. So how was it, the, the experience for me? Did you get any, like, takeaway lessons for me? Did you learn anything while you was on set? Like, what was that like? Absolutely. Um, one thing I took away from me, you got to know when to turn it on and turn it off like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing, everything requires hard work. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, bro. Right. No matter what you trying to do in life, it, it depends on hard work. So, like, we was recording till, like, 5 in the morning. Yeah. 2 in the afternoon to, like, yeah, 5 in the morning. Too, yeah. Cut! Action! <laughs> Cut! Action! All day. But, like, you know what I'm saying? We made it do what it do, though. Right. Hell yeah. So, that was definitely that experience. You know what I'm saying? I, that was that probably five days in a row. Yeah, no. You feel, like, you feel like that was the hardest experience, and like being consistent with the the recording and having to stay in a role. You feel like that was the hardest part, or yo, the hardest part was like the mind over matter shit. Cause like when you in when you in character, my character, I had to have a certain outfit on, and it was freezing cold outside. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying you got cut action all day, so yeah. like you gotta sit in the cold and shit like that. And yeah, like, stuff like that. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't nothing like. That made me too uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, everything is smooth. Yeah, you, you gotta be uh, what, there's like a quote. You gotta be like uncomfortable to, I don't know, but basically getting out your comfort zone. For sure. me, you, you definitely got to. Sure, so sure. now, uh, let's talk about um, can't stop, won't stop. Hell movement, yeah, man. So tell the people about the can't stop, won't stop. Movie. Can't stop, won't stop is pretty much like you know just motivation. You know what I'm saying for myself and others. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying it pretty much is. The motivation to get it done no matter what and also it's going to advance to become a promotional business probably about 2023 okay 2023 yeah yeah hell yeah all right so uh like what are you what you gonna be promoting like is uh like working out you know what i'm saying people's brands you know what i'm saying merch uh you know everything that's going on especially like around the 518 you know what i'm saying and people that's just starting to do what they got to do you know what i'm saying play everybody in the spotlight mm -hmm. Stuff like that. So speaking of that too, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of talent in the five one eight and shots more red in the building, red in the color. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, how do you feel about you know the level of talent in the five one eight and and <clears throat> the uh, exposure is is given or the exposure it doesn't get? How how do you feel about you know the the talent in the five one eight? Yo, bro, I feel like right now, as of right now, as far as New York goes, um. We damn near the only ones that really ain't getting no crazy recognition yet. But one or two, we gonna, we gonna stand up, you know what I'm saying? They gonna start seeing us. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Real, real motherfucker. We got too much shit. Rapping. Everything, bro. So, yeah. like, I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? We up next. Yeah. We definitely up next. So, so if you had to take a guess of, like, what will pop out of the 518 first, what, what, would, be, what would be your guess? Because it is, it is a lot of talent all around, but just a hypothetical guess. And, like, what, what do you... Cause we got we got uh, undefeated boxers, all absolutely, that. Feel me? Absolutely. Like it's, it's, it ranges. Um, shit, man. To be honest with you, it's hit or miss. Yeah. It's hit or miss. It can be any because we got like you just said, we got a lot of people that's good at what they do. So, mm -hmm. um, it's all about you know what I'm saying. 
timing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Consistency, facts. Who, 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 who snatch it first? Nah, facts. But whoever do, man, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word two. Facts. Facts. Now, back to the modeling and acting, because uh, the first time I seen you model, I'm trying to think if I seen the pictures on the gram first, or did I just see that you were um, going to be in the, uh, what, what, what was the, um, at uh, the cloud that meld through? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was the the uh, the horror, the horror shit. Horror, horror something, something, the, something with terror. Terror. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it was something like that. But anyways, it was basically a Halloween themed fashion show. Yeah, fact. And uh, you know, was was that your first time walking on a like hitting the runway type That's thing? That's a fact. That's a fact. And you know, they had me walking like on a peg leg type <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? I had one eye. <laughs> My first. <laughs> Yo, oh, you guys the contact and that look crazy. Facts, bro. Let me tell you about that. All right, so they had me pretty much play like a demon. Um, I had to walk for two different designers. Mm -hmm. And um, overall, I was a demon. I was a devil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely fits me really well. Uh -huh. Um, So they got me some contacts or whatever. And you got two type of different ones, like the white ones. So you got ones that you can actually see out of. And then you got the ones that actually make you blind, bro. <laughs> You so, got the one that hey, made you They blind. got it from me, you heard it. supposed to get it from me. He said somebody go get it. They got the wrong ones, you feel oh. me? So Shorty put the first one in my eye. Everything go black. I'm like, hey, yo, what's going on? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what the fuck? <laughs> so she like, yo, what's going on? They thinking like something really going on in my eye. The whole time they read the box, they say it make you blind, bro. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so the, the plan was I was supposed to have both of them, but... They just had me do. Know. They just yeah. had me do the Fetty Wap. Nah, that's you know crazy. Oh, too. That's crazy. Nah, that's a lot of uh, you know adjusting to fucking yeah, bro. being able to just walk than to like, all right, we gonna cover one eye, nigga. Now walk. I had to slow the speed down, probably like halfway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I don't hit no poles and shit. Nah, facts. Yeah, because it was it was mad like canopies and stuff like that too. People was so. running. People had both their eyes and running into them. So, <laughs> <laughs> so now. Uh, so how did how did did Mel just reach out to you for that or Absolutely, like? Absolutely, man. Shout out to Mel, man. He um he pretty much seen the stuff that I was doing for Fresh and Fly. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And you know he needed an extra guy at the, at the time, so that's how we connected. Yeah. Um, shout out to Mel too. We got another walk on Juneteenth, June 18th. Fire. Oh uh, yeah, we gonna be doing that. Make sure you stay tuned for that. That's a fact. So um even you know just just working with the different models, the photographers. What what's what's your favorite part? Is it the 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 modeling or well I guess it's still modeling but the runway or like the taking the pictures part. My favorite part is when people watching. Okay, so you like the runway. I like the I like the hot like seat. The, the, the I like the hot seat. seat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get to go, everything, all the flashes going. You know what I'm saying? I get to do me. Everybody watching like who that? Word. That's what I like. Word. You know Regardless. So I know you uh over this was it this past weekend you said you had the the photo shoot. Yes. So the, uh, the boudoir, the boudoir. <laughs> you gotta put the your boudoir. Pinky up. Yeah, the boudoir. <laughs> so uh, for the people who don't know who boudoir is, uh, uh, that's a that's a pretty much a photo shoot with um, lingerie. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I wasn't wearing that shit, but yeah. I had my little um, shirt and tie. You know what I'm saying? The slacks and the dress shoes, or whatever. I was invited. I was hired to do the shoot with a young lady. And it went well. It was it was fire. It was a good experience, bro. That's dope. dope. That's Super dope. dope. That's dope. <laughs> all that. All that. <laughs> so uh, now, you know, now your brand of of sways is 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 expanding. Absolutely. So now, what what is it like to be able to get the opportunity to travel to where, where you said Ohio? Yeah, I was in Ohio. Yeah. yeah. What was that? What was that like in being able to? Basically, do the same thing that you do, but just basically in a whole different state. Like, what what was that that feeling like? It feels like an accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? Like, from where I started to where I am now. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of a goal of mine. Yeah. And I feel like I accomplished that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we gonna make this uh, actual thing. Well, it is an actual thing now, but it pretty much that was the goal to make traveling and taking pictures and shit while I'm traveling mm -hmm. an actual thing for me. So yeah. we accomplished that. So uh, I know you said you um. You were out in ATL. Hell yeah. You was out in uh, Florida. Yeah. yeah. Out, in, out in MIA. Houston. Uh, Houston. Hell yeah. That's Facts. Cool. Um, so what's what's your what was your favorite place to like slide to? Definitely so Houston, bro. He, shout out to the H, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It's definitely <laughs> different down there. It's super different down there. The weather is great. Uh, the people. 
know what I'm saying? Um, just things to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's fire, bro. It's just a different atmosphere, man. And they eat good down there, too. <sighs> Food. Magnificent. Uh. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So, if you could travel uh, anywhere in the world, let's manifest. Where are some other places that you want to go and like bring the, the brand of Swayze to? Oh, bro, I'm thinking like Japan, bro. Japan? Okay, we going overseas like the, with it? I like, the, it. I like the, the style that they got. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The swag that they got. I'm definitely trying to be a part of that type of fashion. Okay. Real quick, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be in a, uh, was it a, a kente or something like yeah, that? Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah, all that. Okay, heard it, heard it, heard it. So, um, now let's, uh, you know, transfer over to, you, you be doing comedy too, man. You be doing comedy Yo. skits, man. <laughs> so, uh, is, 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 shout out to OG Twin. Is yeah, OG yeah, Twin yeah. from here? Absolutely, absolutely. He's from Born and Raised Albany. Um, okay. Shout out to my brother, man. Hell yeah. Um, he been doing, he been doing the comedy shit for a few years now. You know what I'm saying? I came home and got in tune with him. And, you know, he was definitely a big part of keeping me out of bullshit, keeping me out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? That definitely shout out to OG Twin, man. Hell yeah. Stirred me into the right direction. You know what I mean? Word. So, uh, who comes up with the skits? He just hits you like, yo, Sway, yo, like, I got an idea, like, let's do it. Like, this how, did, nigga, how this does nigga that come about? genius. <laughs> so, he'll, he'll come up with it right there. Like, he another hot seat, like the hot seat type nigga. Mm -hmm. You have a whole bunch of people. We not doing nothing. We just kicking smoke. We about to do a skit. This is what we got to do. This is what you going to do. This is what you going to do. This is what you going to do. As long as you go with the blueprint, that shit going to come out. Yeah. I see. That's tough. Right. I remember y'all did the one with uh, it was like three guys versus like three girls. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hell you yeah. said something about like uh, Christmas, like uh, bitch, oh, yeah, you yeah, are yeah. all we got. <laughs> la la la, la I can't trust you. Yeah. That was dumb yeah, funny. Right. You said you said something about like your pussy sick or something like that. It was, it was dumb funny, it's a dumb funny. So, uh, even with that, you know, do you want to? Do you see yourself, you know, getting into like a comedy series or something like that? Like, um. You know, probably some some shows or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nothing really stand up or nothing like that. Right. I just do it just to have fun. You feel me? Okay. So if you if you had to if you had to pick, would you want to be in like uh, and you've been in the the you know you've played roles before? Uh -huh. Would you want to do a movie or would you want to do like a TV series where like you might make it to like season two and then season three and like the Honestly, season Honestly, I 10. like shit like that. I'll do like the series. You okay, know what I'm the series? I'm trying to make it the series, the, the episodes, I mean like season seven. Okay, you know okay, what I'm season so 10 of. The, the fact that you might get kicked off is like blood rushing. You nah, know? that's a fact, Hell that's yeah. a fact. <laughs> so uh, what what type of, um, no, not no two, you never know. Somebody might be watching this. What type of roles do you feel like you, you, play, you play best? Um, well, I feel like, I can definitely fit in a lot of roles, but you know, due to like you know face tags, you know, what I'm saying? yeah, grammar, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I gotta play specific things. So you know, movies like BMF, uh, uh -huh. you know, uh, Fresh Prince, mm. funny stuff like that. You know, what I'm saying I can definitely see myself doing things like that Word. in the near future. You got you got any uh, you got any favorite actors that you you know you kind of like? Ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm gonna take a little note from you. Okay, I see what you did there. You got any favorite actors out there? Male or, I honestly, male or female. honestly, is if you want to say favorite actors, I want to just say the people that I worked with on that movie, The Last Shot, was probably my favorite actors, actors because I worked with them personally. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So shout out to ADGs, man. Shout out to the whole cast. ADG, I mean, ADGs cast. in that. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's sorry. Shout tough. out to the whole cast and everybody, man. That's tough. Everybody that was working with me on that day. So Word. I worked with them. Word. So now, uh, what are what are some 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 goals that you know Sways wants to manifest for the remainder of the year along with you know future reference three four five years from now like what, what, what will you really see you know will you project yourself taking off soon i definitely see myself expanding this can't stop won't stop movement um making it legit by the end of this year you know what i'm saying definitely Her. accumulating revenue from it you know what i'm saying um <clears throat> i see myself traveling way more obviously Mm -hmm. um, I can't stand being home, but at the same time when I'm <laughs> on, I miss it. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, right? Nah, I hear Super that. Super weird. Um, I see myself branching with more people. You know what I'm saying? Expanding my horizon with more people. Um, you know, a lot of things, man. Just perfecting me. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying self growth. Yeah, one hundred. Cause I was. I, that's what big thing that I was lacking on, and in the past, you feel me? So a lot of self growth. 
Yeah. Speaking of, I know I see you in the gym getting your, your fit on, feel me? You looking your weights and all that. Hell yeah. So, uh, can't you, stop, won't stop. Do you, I'm uh, tell you. You, you be work, where, you, where you work out at? Um, I'm over at All Being Mad right now. I oh. train over there. Okay, okay, cool. And, um, you, you got any, like, like favorite workouts that you like? You like, nah, this, this is the one that gets me fucking going. Like, I mean, shit. I'm like 170 pounds. I don't think a lot of niggas see me on that bench press. <laughs> shit. But yeah, um, bro, I started off. Just me and my bro Khalil, just going there because he work at um, OB Mad, so that's how we be. Mm -hmm. So um, I just started off with him, and then you know people started seeing me recording, and, and they wanted to be a part of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I ended up starting to train other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I can have like two people to like five people, or like seven people mm -hmm. sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Then it it just went from there. You know what I'm saying? Start charging people and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Actually, a little bit on the side. Yeah. I see you. Uh you can correct me if I'm wrong. I see you doing some workouts with uh, Matthias. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's that's a, that's one crazy motherfucker. He going he going viral. He going viral every day. He's trying to house be the of God, you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga's lifting. He's lifting your house next. Literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Yeah, man. So uh, I, I feel like um, shout out to Matthias, man. Nah, shout out to Matthias. So I feel like Matthias is definitely on that that journey to becoming like just a, a, a legendary figure because he just be he's like. What do you what do you want me to do? I'm gonna try to do it. Feel he me? pick things up and put them down. Yeah. <laughs> I put them up. One hundred up. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> so so speaking of uh you know just legendary in general man like yeah. what 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 does that word legendary mean to a to a person like you? Legendary mean you left a stamp on wherever you was at, wherever you wherever you was last at. So at the end of the day you you pretty much changed a lot of people's life. Um you inspired a lot of people positively. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Not negatively, um, and you know, you just put a stamp on wherever you was left off at. Heard. Pretty much. So give me, give me, give me five legends that you could that just come to your head. When I say the when I say the word legendary, give me five people that come to your head. Alive. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Because you know you can leave your legacy. So mm. dead or alive. Mm. I so shit. Come to New York. Shout out to Big. Big. You know what I'm saying? It don't even gotta be New York either, in general. Shit. Rappers. B.I.G. I like my son Yak. Yak. Kodak. Okay. Um, okay, shout out to Kodak. Oh, man. It don't even gotta myself, be rappers either. Okay, Slice is in there. Hell yeah. You got two more. Legendary. Uh, in, in general. It could be. In general, a, shit. Any topic, any genre, any. Job I like title. 500. Okay. You got one more. Give me a legend. Damn, son. <laughs> I like the hot seat though, right? Alright, so um, the last yeah. one would probably have to be my father, bro. Okay, I like it. Shout out to P.O.P., man. Shout out to P.O.P. Hell yeah, man. That's dope, man. Father. That's dope. Better a lot. So now, uh, like I said, I can't say that's, that's not legendary. That's, that's your opinion, mm -hmm. and I believe it. Feel me? I believe it. So now, uh, now what can we look for? For in in uh, the remainder of 2022 from you, like you said, you want to make can't stop, won't stop, legit, and you know, is it you got more acting roles, you traveling more, like what what's 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 in the works? Um, a lot more, a lot more behind the scene, a lot more behind the camera action. You know what I'm saying? A lot more content. Um, you gonna see some merch coming from me around Perfect. the summertime, ladies, booty shorts coming out, okay, t-shirts coming out, yeah, you already know, huh? Music. Yeah, yeah. Baby. My boy Red got new music coming out. You know the vibes. Hell yeah. Heard it, heard it, heard it. Heard it. Beyond that shit. Heard Hell it. yeah. Heard it, man. So uh I know I know you gotta you gotta you know you gotta head to work and all that, feel me? But it was a pleasure tapping in you tapping Appreciate in with you. you, bro. Um, like I said, it's been it's been a minute since we tapped in together, but you know, it's it's always a it's a celebration every time we link up, feel That's me? Fact. For sure, for sure. So, uh, yeah, man, definitely keep doing your thing, bro. Appreciate you. And, um, yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Let the people know where they can follow you on, you know, social media and all that stuff to stay tapped in with you. Hell yeah. Instagram, Twitter, at underscore Sway Says So. That's underscore S-W-A-Z-E Says So. Facebook, just Sway Says So. Facts, man. And you already know it's your boy DJ Hollywood, man. Do not forget the eight. And you already know it's more than music, man. Like share subscribe follow comment man you can drop a comment man drop a comment on who's your five legendary people feel me drop drop a comment interact engage and share man
got here for another dope.